I want to tell you a little bit about the uh, 2007 Montauk 150 that I bought, my Boston Whaler. I bought it in California, which is obviously low altitude down. This has been an ocean boat. And I bring it up to Utah right as winter is setting in. So I didn't get a chance really to test this thing on the water. The, the lakes were iced up when I got back from California. So I finally get out on the water when spring broke. And this engine pushing this boat wouldn't even plane out of the water. And I thought, what the heck is going on? Did I have a bad boat? Is there water in the hull? Is it a bad engine, whatever? And I had some service done on it. And come to find out how sensitive this, this 60 horsepower four stroke um, has been in the ocean for most of its life, but um, was running great at sea level. As you guys know, for Boston whalers, they're well known in the two coastlines from from Mexico all the way up to Canada and from the Florida Keys all the way up to uh, Maine and to Canada. But out here in the Rocky Mountains, they don't see very many of these. It's always the rangers, the rescue boats, lots of those are Boston whalers. But the average people that go out fishing stuff, hardly anybody knows the name Boston whaler. So um, I'm up here trying to get my little whaler up on top of the water, but it's just dragging through. And so I talked to some boat guys who said, no, you've got to mess with this, the prop. The prop that came with the boat at sea level was a 14-inch stainless, uh, when I say inch, I mean a pitch, 14-pitch prop, which means a, a pitch is one revolution of the prop in a solid material would advance you 14 inches. They said, that is not going to push this boat out of the water at this altitude. Here in Utah, most of the lakes I'm in are between 4,500 feet and 5,000, 6,000 feet. So what I did is I... Uh, and it, I went down and I bought another prop. So I got, took the 14 inch stainless steel off and I bought a uh, 11 pitch um, prop. Let's see, make sure that's right. I got 11, yeah, this is an 11 pitch aluminum prop. And uh, just took a chance. I also put this foil on there, hoping it'd make me plane out a little bit better. And wouldn't you know, that thing jumped right on top of the water. Now, this engine is rated for a maximum of 6,000 RPM. And you always want to get a prop that will get you at full wide open throttle right about the top of your RPM scale. And this, in fact, this prop does take me at this altitude at just around 5,900. I'm at 25 miles per hour. Now, that's kind of disappointing because at sea level, I've seen the Lorenz. There's a Lorenz um, uh, navigation system up on the dashboard. And I checked a former trip report from California. And the boat, previous owner had to have this thing up in the low 30s, like 32 miles an hour, 33. But here we are, higher altitude, smaller pitch prop, but I'm still getting, at 6,000 RPM, I'm getting a good solid 25 miles per hour. And I just wanted to let you know that. The second question that some people have asked me is, does a two and a half horsepower kicker motor give you enough horsepower to push this boat, especially at these high elevations? So when I get out there today, I hope to have a chance to, to videotape this. You can drop this thing in the water and put it on full speed and it'll push about three, four miles per hour. Not bad for just a little kicker motor just to get you home. I don't really troll. I don't fish I, that much and I don't troll. I, this was just to get me home. Why did I want to get me home motor? Because this one came with 1,250 hours on it. That's a lot of hours on a motor. So then I said, I'm gonna try something else. I don't wanna have to sit in the back of the boat, even if I do have an extension handle, hang on to this thing and get it back to shore, but if I left that thing in full um, down position at full throttle, could I steer it by lowering this guy down and just turning the steering wheel and using this like a steering rudder and this be my power. And in fact, it worked, so I'm gonna try to film that today. I will put this thing in the water, put it at full speed, but it does slow you down when you put this thing in the water to be your rudder from about four miles an hour down to about three. So I just wanted to show you that, my 2007 Montauk, 1500 or 150 which is a 15 footer and let's go ahead and have some fun and play on the water